Summary. Were iPhone 8 sales enough to meet street estimates? How quickly has production ramped for the iPhone X? Will shares see a new all-time high? After the bell on Thursday, we'll get fiscal Q4 results from Apple, AAPL, for the September ending quarter. This report will be different from many previous ones due to the split launch of this year's iPhone, with the 8 going on sale last month, but the X, not even available to consumers yet. There have been many concerns about slow 8 sales, and delayed X production pushing sales into calendar 2018, so we'll see this week, if they were accurate. Today, I want to preview the report, with a quick reminder of Apple's guidance for the period, revenue between $49 billion and $52 billion. Gross margin between 37.5% and 38%. Operating expenses between $6.7 billion and $6.8 billion. Other income, expense, of $500 million. Tax rate of 25.5%. When Apple unveiled its new set of iPhones back in September, the street was over $51 billion for its average revenue estimate. That number has come down toward the midpoint of the company's guidance since with most analysts cutting iPhone unit sales figures a little thanks to potentially weak iPhone 8 sales. On the flip side, average selling price estimates have been rising thanks to the phone, being more expensive than the iPhone 7 7 Plus, when they were launched a year earlier. At the moment, analysts are looking for $50.79 billion in quarterly revenues, 